Today's video is about Aaron Williams and all of the Reddit drama. The lady from Reddit sent Aaron an apology. I wanna share that and so much more. You gotta keep watching. I'll start by explaining a little bit of what happened. I'm not going into every detail because that's not what this video is about. But just to catch you up, a woman over on Reddit made accusations about Nick. Aaron's husband. These rumors, accusations sat over on Reddit for a while before I picked them up. I said in my last video a couple of weeks, maybe even a month, but she kept leaving comments over on Reddit. The day I posted my video covering these rumors and accusations, she deleted everything, which I thought was really weird. Was that a coincidence? Did she delete everything the day my video came out just because? I don't know why. I really don't know why. Let's just get started. Let's read all the screenshots. I was preparing for this video and was just reading some of the screenshots. The viewer said, how do you deal with all the BS rumors YouTuber headlines puts out? I couldn't do it. I'll read Aaron's response and then I'll respond. Aaron said, this was a subs only question, but I'm going to reply publicly. Lord, okay, here we go. I turned off notifications for her videos a month or so ago. There was a rumor that Aaron had notifications turned on for my channel. You guys have been telling me that for months. I call that a rumor because we didn't have proof Aaron had notifications turned on, but she just confirmed it. So you guys were right about that. I'm pointing this out because some rumors end up being true. I know all rumors aren't true, but some end up being true. And I haven't read any of the gossip online that I'm just now seeing because of this question. I haven't addressed any of it because I didn't know any of it was being said, but now that I do, I have no issues doing so. A woman on Reddit took a sentence from our Valentine's Day Q&A, ran with it, as bored people usually do. Not only do I not believe a word of it, she's probably a very sad, middle-aged cat lady pretending to be someone she's not. She gets a small escape from her reality, some entertainment, and the shot at hurting me by making the story up. This is very clearly slander and false. We actually do have a legal leg to stand on and we intend to pursue it. Times are changing. That was Aaron's response. Now, I wanna to respond to this viewer's question because the viewer said, rumors, BS rumors that YouTuber headlines puts out. I wish I could get clarification from this viewer on exactly what she means by BS rumors YouTuber headlines puts out. I wonder what she means by puts out. Does she mean I start the rumors, I repeat the rumors? Anyways, I don't completely understand what she means by that. So let me just say, YouTuber headlines is a drama gossip commentary channel where I share my opinions. I share the opinions of viewers. I share influencers opinions. I also react to things and I talk about rumors. I don't start rumors. I talk about rumors. If you hear something on my channel, chances are it's already out there somewhere on social media. It's already been said. I cover things that happen on social media. So if it hasn't been said, or if there's no proof of whatever the situation is on social media, how can I cover it? It has to happen. It has to be going on somewhere on the internet in order for me to cover it because that's what I cover. I cover things that happen on the internet when it comes to mom influencers. And that includes rumors, but I will never state something as a fact if it's a rumor. I won't do that. Gossip is a conversation that's light, informal, and usually about other people's business. It can be fun to gossip about others, but no one likes it when they're the subject of gossip. You can find people just about anywhere who love to chatter about the latest rumors and stories. I like this definition of gossip because it says a conversation that's light and informal. And I think that kind of describes some of my content. I like to have fun. I like to laugh. I like to talk about what's going on. You guys do too. That's what we do here. And that includes rumors. How can you be on social media and never talk about rumors? Rumors are out there about everybody. There are rumors out there about me. There are rumors out there about most influencers. And we're going to talk about them here. So if that's what you like, keep watching. If it's not for you, I get it. This is not for everybody, but 
we're going to talk about rumors on this channel. If a rumor is not true and I have proof that it's not true, I will let you know and I will squash it if I can. I also cover problematic behavior from influencers because there's a lot of it out there and sometimes these people just need to be called out. So I've done that from day one and I will also continue to do that. And I talk about rumors. I've always talked about rumors. I will always talk about rumors. There are rumors out there about everybody. If you don't want a rumor out there about you, you should get off social media because you can't control that. Now, a rumor and a lie are two different things. This lady from Reddit admitted to lying, making up lies about Nick and Aaron. I don't think anyone should just make up lies about people and present them on social media as a fact. I'm not down with that. I think there's a big difference between a lie and sharing your opinion or gossiping or whatever. I also share behind the scenes information about influencers and affiliate links. I mean, my channel is a combination of a lot of different things. Normally, I just would not draw more attention to it because I'm like, oh, I don't want more people to join in on the hate. But you know what? Like, I'm done. Like, I'm done. I didn't even know that this was going on behind the scenes because... A viewer sent me this comment. Erin commented in her Q&A saying she doesn't watch any of your gossip anymore or follow the gossip on her so she wasn't aware of the Nick rumors. Meanwhile, you had a screenshot of her commenting proof or it didn't happen in your video, lol. Listen, I'm a fan of hers, but don't lie. And I responded, that comment was left on her video, but yeah, she responded to it. The viewer's right. I had a screenshot of a comment that was left on Aaron's video accusing Nick of doing something. There was no proof, so it's an accusation. Aaron responded to the comment, prove it or it didn't happen, and I believe she deleted that comment later because I tried to go back and find it and I could not find it. The comment that was left on Aaron's video wasn't exactly the same as the comments that were being left on Reddit. Similar, but not the same. Normally, okay, and y'all have to remember, I've been reading stuff like this, not like on that level, but stuff like this for like 11 years, and normally I just would not draw more attention to it because I'm like, oh, I don't want more people to join in on the hate, but you know what? Like, I'm done. Like, I'm I can see this from two different perspectives. I mean, someone was making up horrible lies about her husband, so I understand wanting to speak up, but she also brought a lot of attention to this topic. Anything she puts on her platform, she's bringing attention to. And a lot of people went over to Reddit. A lot of people came over to me. So she definitely put more attention on this topic. I don't think she was necessarily wrong for bringing attention to this. And that's what she did by putting it on her platform. That's what she wanted to do, you know. So do what you think is best to protect your family. But if you're curious about my opinion on this... If I were Aaron, I would have never brought this shit to the surface. I would have never posted about it. No, I would not have. I would have handled everything behind the scenes. But I'm not in her shoes. I didn't feel all the emotions that she felt. But from the outside looking in, that's how I would have handled it. Because one thing I've learned during my journey on YouTube is everybody doesn't deserve a response or a reaction from you. I made a decision... Um, I don't know, about a month ago, it was a video um, that was posted that I watched and it like really put me in a bad mood for the entire day. And I was like, this isn't worth my time to like let this get into my like day and get me in such a bad mood. If someone's making videos about you, leaving comments about you or talking about you, it's really none of your business. That's how I feel about it. I wanna share two quotes with you. Why would I waste my time caring? <laughs> I love this. Why would I waste my time caring about what you think of me? What other people think and say about you is none of your business. The most destructive thing you would ever do is believe someone else's opinion of you. You have to stop letting other people's opinions control you. So good. This quote is so good. When it comes to social media, I don't think every little opinion about you that's out there should matter to you. I think you should listen to the opinions of people in real life who love you, who know you, who care for you. And then of course, if you have a business, you have to listen to your customers. You have to accept feedback and constructive criticism. 
If you're an influencer, you have a business and you have customers, so you need to listen to some of that, you know, from your customers. So there are exceptions, and I'm not saying you should just put blinders on and not give a F what anybody thinks. That's not what I'm saying. And of course, I have to mention problematic behavior because if you're a problematic influencer posting problematic behavior, you know, you can't just put blinders on and ignore everything. With all of those things to the side, generally speaking, someone's opinion of you shouldn't really matter that much to you. This is different than just gossiping and snarking. So... I agree with this. The lady on Reddit was not snarking or gossiping. She made up lies, horrible lies about Nick. And I can sit here and say that today, that those were lies because she admitted she made everything up. She admitted she lied about everything. Next, I'll read the message the lady from Reddit sent me. She sent the exact same message to Aaron, word for word. She said, this is the Reddit stripper, economy associate. So I'm messaging you in hopes this will get to Aaron. Dear Mrs. Williams, I want to sincerely apologize to you and your husband for making false statements about Nick. I did it purely off resentment from when you blocked me. At a time, I was very not mentally well, dealing with a few surgeries that I'm currently being bed bound. I didn't say anything mean or nasty in my eyes to be blocked and I made up something nasty, fake stories to get back at you. And well, I didn't think it would go this far, and regardless of whether you blocked me or not, gives me no right to potentially ruin someone's marriage. I went way too far. I'm clearly suffering from other situations in my life, and I need to take proper action of my own mental health. I'm not a troll, and I should know better than this, and I'm very embarrassed of my actions, so please let all of your followers know I've never met Nick, and I've never been a stripper. All of it was fake. Again, I'm sincerely very sorry for any hardship I may have caused, and I'm also sorry to you and your husband and also your followers. I didn't respond to her messages. I didn't feel the need to, but she sent me the messages because Aaron told her to. When Aaron made this post on Instagram, she said the rumor queen conveniently deleted all of her posts. It doesn't really matter to a digital private investigator, but maybe an apology is in order and let YouTuber headlines know you made the entire thing up. I fully intend to see this one through. So Erin sent me the apology from this woman on Reddit and I messaged her back and said, how do we know that's really her? Erin posted this on Instagram. I don't know if I even believe the email is from Economy Associate 20. That's her user profile name on Reddit, but I just received it. It could be someone else afraid of what will come from this. I'm not calling anything off either way. Then Erin sends me a video of this lady on Reddit logging into her Reddit account and you can see the home screen on her phone. I could also see her inbox on Reddit. I thought about including the video in this video, but there was so much I would have to blur and I don't wanna sit here and worry about showing something I shouldn't show and someone will find this on the video and I didn't know it was there, so I don't want that to turn into a big mess. So I'm not showing the video, but I did see it. All of this happened days ago and I can't remember if Aaron showed the video on Instagram. I don't know. This is a screenshot of an email between Aaron and the lady from Reddit. Aaron said, you should log into the original account on Reddit where you said all of this and then correct the lies because you've already created a narrative for thousands of people there as if it were fact. This is not about money to me. Then Aaron posted this to Instagram and also said, this is what I'm always referring to when I say these people are not who they say they are. This is why I always end up feeling bad for them when they do this to me daily. I get what Erin is saying here because the lady from Reddit was talking about, you know, things she's struggling with and her mental health and all of these things. But the lady made up all of the lies about Nick on Reddit. She could be lying about her situation as well. So it's like, you know, can you believe what she's saying at this point? I know Erin can sometimes come across as cold on social media, but I don't think she's going to sue this lady. I think Erin wanted the lies taken down. She wanted the person to admit they lied. She wanted accountability. She got all of those things, you know, and I think she deserved those things because you shouldn't just go around making up lies about people. That's not right. But I don't think Erin's going to sue this lady. That's just my opinion. This is another part of that same email I just showed you from the lady 
on Reddit. Yes, it's actually me. I can try to log into my old account if it will let me to show proof that it is. Either way, if you need to still go ahead with legal action, that's the price I will have to pay. Unfortunately, I have no money to gain or much of a reputation to ruin. I'm just a disabled, middle-aged woman. You gotta think about a few things here. If she is telling the truth and she has no money, what are you suing for? What will you even get out of her? You know, Erin said it's not about the money for her, so I don't see her suing. I just don't see that happening. This video is so long, but I wanted to make this follow-up video to give everybody an update and to let everyone know the comments on Reddit were all lies. It was all fake. She made everything up. And I wanted to share her actual apology and all of that. That's all I have for today's video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.